the uh, f- that doesn't make any sense. You're not even real. We are you are a character that we created. <laughs> That's what you think. But that didn't answer the question. Are you doing the gunpla lineup today or not? Yeah, kind of. I mean, last month I kind of screwed up with the whole PewDiePie thing, but yeah, I think that will be a good idea, right? All right. Well, let's get into it. This is a special episode because I'm having a, 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 a factual character joining me today <laughs> with uh, Ero Mekasensei. Hello, hello. What's up all you cool cats out there? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? Let's jump right into it. So, to start the month of March 2019, we have the I-Grade Universal Century Narrative Gundam C-Pax. Ero Mekasensei, do you have any opinion regarding that kit? Uh, I mean, I think my butler, Boomzy, had a good idea with this one. It just kind of reminds us of tuna sashimi. Mm -hmm. It makes us very hungry. (laughs) Yeah, it looked like a a fake unicorn. Yeah. Uh, I heard the the, the, the Apex was pretty good. So it wasn't great, but it was good. So this is an interesting interesting take on that kit. Uh, It's going to be released this month. 9 of March 2019 for the price of 2,484 yen. So, not an expensive kit. What do you think? Uh, I think it'll be worth it. I mean, honestly, <laughs> the narrative, I think, in the film showed its kind of awesomeness in there. So, truly, I am kind of excited for it. Yeah, you, you saw the movie, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, I don't know where, where, when did you find the time to sell a movie between saving the world and all that stuff, but yeah. <laughs> I had it uh, secretly delivered to me, so. Yeah, that's what happened, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you're not even real, but you can see movie. That's uh, <laughs> that's uh, interesting. <laughs> okay, next one. I think this is one of the most hyped kit of the year. I, I this is my kit. Like I, I was waiting for that kit for so long, and I almost bought the no grade because I love that design so much. But. On the 22nd of March 2019, we have the Master Grade. Tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Dynamize? Dynamis? Dynamis? Dynamite? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Dynamize Gundam from Gundam 00 coming out on the 22nd of March 2019 for uh, 4,860 yen. And that thing looked fantastic. What yeah, is your take on it, Terumi Kasensei? I think the kit looks amazing. I think it's going to give a lot of re- revitalization to the double O fans as well. I mean, all we've seen for years is like constantly the Exia and the double O <laughs> and uh, we just really haven't had any of the other units in um, the series to shine their light on. So it'll be really nice to see. And it might lead into some stuff like the, um, where is that? The virtue and so on and so forth from the series as well. Yeah. A lot of people are asking for these kits actually. And I'm, uh... I'm quite surprised that after 10 years we are finally getting one and uh, we don't have a lot of uh, main like gundamable suit uh, using snipers so it's, uh, it's a nice change of pace and uh, I just love the design. I'm a big yeah. fan of the design. Uh, are they reusing the same uh, inner frame that they use for the X? Yeah, do you know? I am not sure. I haven't really looked at the frame too much but uh, hopefully they've updated it I would, I would imagine but you never know with Bandai they like to rehash and reuse sometimes yeah it seemed it seemed to be a new mold because well a kind of a new mold because of the the, the waste gimmick but uh, otherwise i guess we will see when the, it will release yeah now this is the reason why i'm actually here um, why i kind of infiltrated your own security there at the gunplug network this is the figure rise standard ayami the ultimate waifu i have to meet this one so the release date will be March 2019 with a price of uh, 2,592 yen for her bounty. So we'll see if we can actually meet her and see if we can figure out her secrets to the trade and hopefully not get assassinated. Actually, I'm organiz- organizing uh, organizing right now a meeting for you with her. So that's going to happen. And uh, I have to say, uh, the figureized line uh, has been quite impressive. The, the recent, uh, what was her name, your last year from? Oh, uh, Sarah Doll? Sarah, and before her, the uh, one that would have been, <laughs> that would have been uh, Build Diver Nami. Yeah, exactly. And uh, 
from your stand of view, your point of view, your opinion, like because you are the expert, you are a Roma and say you are a man of culture. Uh, what's your take on the recent uh, figure eyes line? Like um, the, the new uh, personally, I really, really like the new way that the designs have been coming out. Um, they feel very solid. They're really well articulated as well. Um, the designs don't look awkward like some of the older lines. I did see that they were planning on rebooting the Fumina as well. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, if they're going to follow the standard figure rise um, builds that we've been seeing recently or uh, going forward from there. I mean, ultimately, I've been more excited and I hope that they actually reboot some of the other um, waifus that we previously had, Gianco, Rinko for sure, um, in the future as well. Yeah, I must agree. And I have to say like that one looked particularly good. Uh, the, the color separation, uh, the articulation, the mold in itself looked pretty good. So. I think this is the the kind of kit that we have to keep an eye on because it can open the door to a lot of other style. Mm -hmm. like maybe we can expect a Char figure rise along the line, an armor figure rise, something else than waifu. I know that's not your style. I'm sorry, Sensei. <laughs> But uh, in the end, it can only be surprising. Eh? Hey, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mind maybe meeting some husbandos in the future if they plan on releasing those as well. Uh, if you want to swing both ways, that's your style, man. You can, this is <laughs> gotta, your lifestyle. I'm gotta keep just, your options open. It's 2019, and we're not, we are not here <laughs> to judge you. Uh, next, so... <laughs> holy moly, that, that conversation went straight across the border. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Moving on. So, just to... Uh, to uh, To re 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 blah, 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 blah. Just to say it again, <laughs> Figure Eyes Thunder Ayami 2,592 yen is going to be released on March 27, 2019. Next kit! Next kit! Okay. <laughs> the next one is the Master Grade, a, a surprising Master Grade actually. Mm -hmm. Master Grade 1100 Gundam H2 Magnum. Uh, I did not expect that. It's yeah. going to be released. On th the 30th of March 2019, for 5,940 yen. What's your take on that one? This one was completely out of left field. Like, nobody saw this coming. We were like, you know, are they going to make another unicorn? Or are we going to get an MG Phoenix or another rendition of Wing? And then they're like, hey, here's a uh, Gundam H2 Magnum. And then looking at the molds and everything for this one, from the prototype all the way up to the uh, promotion shots. I mean, I have the high grade one, and I was... Uh, you know, super impressed with that. And so seeing this in the Master Grade, it really made me think about picking it up and the the box art, like, it's got big Zam on it. And it's like, you know what? I might just buy it just for that. <laughs> well, I, I built the the regular Master Grade H2 Normal and that was quite a disappoint, disappointing build. Actually, the inner frame is quite uh, shabby. So I don't know. I'll, I don't think they're going to fix their inner frame with that one. But it looked great. I mean, this is this is a great update. If Bill Diver did something right, was it was to uh, update the H2 design. Yep. So uh, yeah, March 2019 for 5,940 yen. Next one, you want to present it? Aerial Makeup Sensei. Let's see what we got. We got the SD Sengoku Sakotsuden Zengfei yeah, uh, God Gundam. <laughs> I can redo it if you want. No, it's all right. It's all right. You did it perfectly. So, hey, I'm not. I'm not here to school you. You are here to school me. Sorry, I was reloading my gun in the middle of it. So the release yeah. date for that is March 2019, with a price of 600 yen. So what do you think about this one? Uh, I don't have a, a strong opinion about it. I mean, it looks cool, but the only thing I'm seeing is sticker. Like I'm yeah. seeing sticker everywhere. And if it's not sticker, I mean, bravo, but <laughs> die if it's not sticker. But we all know these going to be stickers. Yeah, I have a feeling all these gold parts are going to be those nasty yellow stickers that we see. Oh, well, yeah. foil, foil like stickers. The, the gold marker is going to be your friend for that one. Yeah, and then I mean, with that, the uh, Sokotsuden series is also launching too. I think in Japan sometime soon. The yeah, animation. Exactly. So that'll be. Interesting. I don't. I don't remember when, but I think. I, I think was it actually already released? I think so. It's hard to tell because we don't know. No, I think. But yeah, uh, just to continue in that vein, we got another SD coming out uh, on the 30th of March 2019 for 600 yen. 
and I'm gonna massacre that name. So, <laughs> LD Sangoku Soku. The Kutsuden. LD, SD Sangoku so good to them live bay unicorn whatever <laughs> it's on the screen read it I'm not even trying yeah so uh, yeah same thing stickers 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 it's not the SDCS you like have you built any of the SDCS Aero mm -hmm. uh yes I actually have uh, most of majority of them I think I'm missing only about two or three and okay. Honestly, I enjoy the cross silhouettes, but these don't look like they will be cross silhouettes. But yeah. um, taking a look at some of the promotion shots, they did look like they had some articulation to them. So we'll see if these are going to be maybe a new standard for the um, Senkoku Senkoku. Oh my god, Sakotsuden uh, lineup or not? But we'll see. Yeah, exactly. I just hope they're going <clears> to <throat> update that line because at that point, uh, with the new SDCS line, it's going to be a, a so like all they did so fast yeah and then the next one we have which is really interesting um is the sd sengoku sokotsuden guan yu young chang v gundam this will be released on march 2019 with a price around 600 yen uh this thing actually looks beautiful i love it too i'm glad that you like it aromaka sensei because this one looks fantastic because you know what they say new gundam is gundam yeah Absolutely, and the color separation, if the effect parts actually do pop out like this, I mean, this one may be the one that you want to get in paint because uh, this one just looks phenomenal. Exactly, look fantastic. So, uh, it's going to be released on 30th of March 2019 for 600 yen, get your wallet ready. Uh, we're going to jump in into the premium Bandai stuff coming out this month, and we're going to do it really fast. <clears throat> Alright. Um, first one. Premium Bandai High Grade Universal Century uh, TR6 Azel 2. So, yeah, another Azel. Your take on it? Um, I don't know if it has a long uh, <laughs> crotch piece like the other wound wart or not, but always an interesting design on these uh, these Hazels. Uh, my take on it, I actually have it pre ordered and very excited for this one. Oh, yeah, you pre ordered it? Yes. Well, okay. I built the, the first Hazel, the one that uh, was released a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not a big fan of it anymore. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the build salt me a little bit. But um, cool looking design, but I'm not a big fan of the navy blue. Mm. But that's me, eh? So uh, I'm kind of a weird guy. <laughs> I can understand that. Yeah. Uh, next one, P Bandai Master Grade 1 100 GM Cannon Jaburu Defense Force Type. So it's a, a red GM. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's like half and half. I mean, we all love GMs. We all respect GMs. But it's this a, one. It's a Canadian GM. Yeah. This one <laughs> uh, they might want to use over there for our sponsor set Canadian Gundam as their mascot. Because, I mean, this is perfect. It's got the color scheme. Uh, if we put like a beaver decal on its chest <laughs> or something. <laughs> well, that was racist. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, March 2019, 4,320 yen for the GM Cannon Jaburo Defense Force type. Next one, the P Bandai Reborn 1100 LM 111E03 Gun Blaster. Gun Blaster? Gun Blaster. Gun, gun Blaster. Uh, March 2019, for 3,780 yen. So that's. Uh, 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 what's the name of it? Like the original design? Oh, uh, I have a yeah, yeah. Shoot, I do exactly. not remember. <laughs> Me neither. I don't. I, I I know that that one, but I don't remember anything. Anyway, look great. Look at everything. I think that's the kind of kit that deserves to be on the P and die line. Yeah, and it being a, a re one one hundred, it gives us a nice insight that they haven't given up on the line, and they're still. Well, they they, they they just announced two new kits for that line. Mm -hmm. And the they're Dr. still trying. And, uh, Where's the other one? Uh, just the big, na big Nagina? Yeah, the Big Nagina <laughs> too, yeah. yeah. Um, but both you of those You know that kids... one, eh? <laughs> yeah, I know that one really well. <laughs> okay, now that's getting weird. But uh, both of those kits look great, and uh, it just makes it look good on Bandai's part that they're not giving up on that line because it was so um, mis- kind of, uh, what I want to say, it was so half and half on the uh, spectrum for fans and builders. Exactly. I have to say the Reborn line is one at that point. Like since the 
Oh, like I built two or three of them. I built the, the Bahu, I built the Ifri uh, Custom, and I have the. What's the other one? I got the. Where is it? It's not on my desk, or whatever. I got another mm-hmm. one, and um, the Hama Hama. And okay. uh, I, I just, I just love it. That's a great line. That's a great uh-huh. line, like for uh, more obscure. So, uh, next one, Pib and I, I go Universal Century, uh, Regal Google from the <laughs> Uni- the Unicorn version. Uh, March 2019 for 2,376 yen, yen, exactly. Uh, What's your take on it? This one I kind of looked at for a long time, and I didn't really understand why it was a P-Bandai other than the weapons. The weapons look great. The kit itself is kind of like half and half, Mm -hmm. but the weapons that it comes with, I think, (laughs) are not really worth that price, but I guess if you want to pay for them, then you can. It's a recolor, just like, it's just a recolor, so... There is that. So if you're into that, I mean, if you don't want print, it's great for you, but you're gonna overpay for every color. Yeah. And uh, finally, we're gonna st- we're gonna end with the Gundam based Tokyo kit for the month, and that's the I Grade Universal Century, Sinanju Stein narrative version, extra finish, extra finish version. Hey, that's a lot of that's a lot of letters for me. Uh, going to be released on 29 of March 2019 for 5,184 yen. What's your take on it? I like this special coding, whether or not I will pay for this special coding instead of just buying a regular one and coding it myself. Um, I mean, if you don't want to, it's a great o- option. I don't know if they're going to handle those sleeves with a different mold. I highly doubt it. They're probably going to be the flat blue color, and then you're going to have to paint them gray. But, I mean, overall, it looks good, and it gives uh, gives you a good idea of what it will look like when it's chromed out. Yeah, exactly. I, I have to sell I'm a bit of on the fence on it because, like you said, the sticker and the sleeve. So you have to, well, you will have to paint it. Like you will have to paint the sleeve to have the purple color because with the sticker, it's gonna look bad. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> for a Gundam based Tokyo kit, if you are in vacation in Japan and you're stopping at the vacation at the Gundam based Tokyo, I think this is a great kit to pick up actually, like yeah. as as a souvenir, you know. Oh yeah, absolutely. Kit. Especially if someone absolutely loves the Sinaju or the Sinaju Stein. Um, like myself. Is, yeah. yeah, definitely one to get for yourself or even a gift for someone else. Um, yeah. Exactly. That's better than when, <laughs> what I, I I bought when I was when I was there like two years ago. I bought the the special edition armor roll version, real great Zeta. That thing was a piece of. <laughs> I never finished it. Like it's in the trash somewhere. This is. Oh wow. Oh yeah, and this is like the color was super. That was it looked so cool on the box, but that totally killed their uh, real green light for me. I got you. So, that was it for uh, this month Gunpla line- lineup for March 2019. Uh, thank you to uh, my imagination, I guess, for popping up with uh, Aeronica Sensei coming out like I don't know from where, but thank you for being here. Uh, uh, people can catch you on Gunpla Network doing this awesome. Uh, uh, make a waifu review and I think they can catch your butler on his own channel. Am I right? Yeah, you can catch uh, the butler on Boomzy. That is youtube.com forward slash Boomzy and you can catch me, Iro Mecha Sensei, on the Gunpla Network. Also, don't forget to check out Canadian Gundam. They are our sponsors. Make sure you support the people who support us and use the coupon code Gunpla Network for your 10% off your entire order. Well, that was a fantastic plug. Like, I mean, 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10. <laughs> so on these wise word, guys, uh, I'm the French guy from the Gunpla Network. I will wish you a great month, great Gunpla, and take care of yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs>